Hello and welcome in third episode of Moto News and we begin with Project Cars and patch 2.0 which is now available on PlayStation 4. Let's move on to next topic. Anyway, there is a new DLC for Forza Horizon 2. It's called the IGN pack and it's rated 11 out of 10 by IGN. That was legitness! Um, it includes some brand new cars for Forza series like Audi S1, the new Aston Martin V12 Vantage S, the Lotus Evora, the, the Plymouth GTX, Nissan Juke, which was available already in the game if you get it by some promotion codes from Pringles. And the free car is the Ferrari 575 Maranello. Nissan joke. Great joke. Let's move on. Okay, next topic is race room racing experience. A new car arrived, and this is Nissan Skyland GTR, and it's available in Touring Car Classic pack. There is also a new patch with some improvements, so yeah. And it is now possible to mix the new pack and the old DTM 1992 pack to make multi-class racing. Wow. Okay, next news, and it's Forza again, but this time it's the Motorsport 6. Another batch of cars have been announced for it, and it's mostly cars reused from the older games. Yeah, big surprise there. There are also cars from the IGN pack mentioned earlier, and the only new car I think is the Volvo Polestar Racing from Swedish Touring Car Championship. By the way, on this list there is also Hammer H1 Alpha and Mini Cooper S, so we can gather together like 10 Hammers and one Mini Cooper and you know what is going on. Yeah, we're playing football mini ball. Or gangbang. Alright, let's move on now. Moving on, F1 2015 is now available in Europe on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. In US will be available in next week. Good, so they have finally dropped the support for the old consoles. Yes, and with dropping support for last gen console, Codemasters dropped support for Carrier Mode 2. Really? Yes, no Carrier Mode in F1 2015. And on Wednesday you have been on some pre-release presentation and some training for sim racing on the new F1. How was it? Yes, training was organized by Veracom, which is publisher for Wilson Pro and Thrustmaster in Poland, and by Senega, which is publisher of Formula 1 game here in Poland. Our instructor was Kamil Franczak, who is finalist of GT Academy, and you met him, right? Yes, I did meet him on the Polish finals where we were going against each other and I lost. Our training track was Monza and since we were using Thrustmaster stuff and Thrustmaster F1 wheel add-on, we were driving in Ferrari. So Kamil told us a few things about driving, cornering, braking, accelerating and after 20 or 30 minutes of pure talking we sat down and we were tried to beat his lap time. Did any of you make it? Yes, there was one guy who was like stick and he was doing mind-blowing lap times. Unfortunately, he was cutting a lot and there was another guy who was driving okay and he beat camel time and I don't know who was it. Did you beat it? Yes, I was second. Good job. So, during the week there was an FIA conference. And well, last year they've announced partnership with Gran Turismo, which hasn't really happened as of now, apart from the updated Suzuka. But it's coming soon, remember, soon. Yes, yeah, soon. This year they have announced partnership with Dirt Rally. And probably in next update for Dirt Rally we will get Rally Cross. And it will also include some official tracks and cars from the World Rally Cross Championship. So Dirt Rally is looking really good in the near future. My future is also looking interesting because on Tuesday I'm going to be a lorry driver, apparently. I'm going to test some real lorry driver simulator or truck simulator or whatever this thing is called. So you will learn how to check your mirrors, change gears and some other things, right? Yes, which are slightly illegal. I forgot to tell one thing, I have some footage from F1 2015 training and I'm going to make some video about it soon. 
So we've covered all the topics from last week. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel if you are new here. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. So see you again next week. Bye.